As you can see here, Wolfie gives you instructions on how to continue, repeat or restart his current lesson. Wolfie goes on to say, you have already used the goals and task system while working through the academy. The quest types that I've mentioned so far are smaller quests that usually involve killing something for a reward. Those quests are automatically generated and are repeatable. Goals are much more involved quests, usually with a storyline and require many actions to complete. As you explore Andalor, characters will ask you for help and unlock goals or tasks for you to complete. Completing and solving all of the area quests is a long-term goal for some players and will keep you occupied and sometimes frustrated for many hours. Most goals have a reward at the end. Some can be repeated but act differently if you have already done them, while others, such as graduating from the academy, can only be done once. New goals and tasks are added to the game frequently. There is an area called Path of the Believer, which has a nice low level goal that we might be able to attempt. Let's run there and give it a go. The Path of the Believer begins here. It is here a believer will begin the first steps of prayer, fasting and meditation. They will visit the temples along the path and commune with the gods. The first step is always the hardest, so begin when you are ready. Okay, the first thing you must look for in a goal is the goal starter. Now the goal starter is generally the green exclamation point, just like our trainers are in the academy. A prophet of the way says, listen to me and know the future of these lands. Hmm, got a slight problem. We can't actually see the prophet. I wonder if we can listen to him. Are you sure you wish to see the future of these lands? The prophet's eyes fog over and a rush of energy fills the air. You see the ground around engulfed in fire and terrifying demons arising from the flames. Helplessly you watch all the creatures on the path being torn mercilessly apart. You hear the shrill cries of the believers as they are burned and eaten by demons. A prophet of the way says, This future is brought about by an evil distortion that has taken over the priest in the temple of doom. To destroy this distortion, we need to make a sacrifice to the gods and ask for their help. Hurry and bring me the claw of a bear, the wings of a pixie, and a medallion of evil. Return and notify me when you have gathered the materials so I can create the sacrifice. Okay, we have a goal added. Can we really change the future? Type Goals Believer for full details on this quest. Okay, Goals Believer says gather the materials. Typing tasks here, it tells us that task 1, which is gather the materials, involves gather the wings of a pixie, claws from a bear, and the medallion of evil. Wow, where are we going to find a pixie, a bear, and what has the medallion of evil? The first thing I think we are going to need to do is maybe go visit that potion shop in Aelor because we can't see this prophet and if we can't see the prophet, what else are we not seeing? Okay, here we are back in the path of the believer. Now, what we said before here is we need to gather the materials and those materials are the wings of a pixie, the claws of a bear and the medallion of evil. Let's type where bear it's in a dark cave. Hmm. Okay, here's the prophet. Oh, I can see the prophet now. But I couldn't see the prophet before. I never did craft those potions I just purchased either. Okay. Let's have a look to the... 
we let's get out of that room just in case the area repops. Okay, looking back at that fight, it looks like you get a claw of a grizzly bear from the hacked corpse of a grizzly bear. Well, that looks like our claws of the bear. Let's look at tasks here. Okay, it doesn't update the task, but that's okay. We've got claws of a bear. Now, where pixie? There is no pixie around here. Hmm. I can already see in the dark. Well, let's try where Pixie now. A vengeful Pixie is in the Temple of Vengeance. Let's go for a little bit of an explore. Small path. Oh, here's a temple. Temple of Plenty. Oh, we're being attacked. A drow is attacking us. It's okay. A med Dalian radiating evil from the kicked in corpse of a drow. Well, now that was lucky. Uh, we still need to find this temple of vengeance. Well, let's continue further into the area. See hawks and suns and men. Oh, we're going through some water now. In the rapids, a landing area. A soggy intersection. Well, wow, looking at that icon on our mini map to the north of me, it looks like that might be a temple. No, that's a shrine. Let's go to the west. What's this one? Temple of Vengeance. And there's the pixie. And the pixie is invisible. Oh, good thing we craft that potion. Kick pixie. So I don't think that pixie is going to give up his wings. Let's kick him. Kick pixie. You get the wings of a water pixie. All right, let's just check our tasks again. Make sure we do have the right items. The wings of a pixie. It doesn't specify whether it's a water pixie or not. So let's go back to the prophet with what we have. We can see whether or not this is what he's looking for. Here's the prophet. So I type in the command, say, I have your materials. And thankfully, that's exactly what the prophet was wanting to hear. And it seems we actually have all the items that he wants. Now we need to wear the robes. So wear robes to wear the robes. And go to the shrine with the materials and ask the gods to help you.